Must be careful now.
dear duty. So that thing.
to get on the other side. Look like you could handle yourself. Eivor Wolfkist, is that you? It is Rolf, yeah? We raided with you that one time up on the northern coast. I am flattered you remember. It was the first time Styrbjörn let us raid so far from home. And Sigurd was sure you took more than your fair share. You're still raiding at your age. We need to grab what we can before Harald has his say across Norway. But I only plan them now. I let others do the heavy work. In fact, I'm looking for someone to lead my crew. I would like to help you out, but I have my own crew now. I did not mean you, but I could use your help choosing a leader. I have picked out a few to be tested. Tested how? If you want to see someone's true character, test it in battle. Show me your pics. My crew is gathered down by the docks. Locals mostly. Even a couple of farmers hungry for excitement. How do they compare to me and Sigurd? There is no comparing. You are building some reputation, Eivor. They are talking about you up and down the coast. Good talk or bad? Depends on who you talk to. Mostly good. Do not worry about the bad. No, they should worry about me. This is my raiding crew, Eivor. But they lack an experience they make up for in other areas. Together. We will hammer these lumps of meat into men and women of iron, into raiders. So which from this unlucky lot would lead your crew? See that big brute, Odbjorn? He does not speak much, but he could power a ship by himself. That shield maiden is Ashild the Keen. Her blade is as quick as her wits. And then, there is Thorgils. Rolf! Who is your friend? Keep your head on the fight or someone will crack it. All right! That one is so thick, he could shatter your shield, but the other men like him. And those are the best of the bunch. So those three, yeah? Huh? I have handled more. You want to fight them all at once? Why not? Raids are the stuff of chaos itself. They need a test with no rules. Challenge them, but do not damage them. It was hard enough finding this many. Listen up, you sea slugs. This is Ava Wolfkist. ...who has killed more men than you will ever meet. Eivor Wolfkist? I have heard of you. This will be great! You want to lead my crew? You must fight Eivor. Best fighter wins. No killing, no maiming. Other than that, no rules. Understand? I am ready! <gasps> fight! The raider needs to be ruthless. I am better than any man! Here. You have much to 
First. Maybe you want to sit back down. No, no, I will be fine. And do not worry about me. Worry about yourself. I'll kill you. I would rather have some meat. Did you see what you were looking for? Yes. I did not think Thorgils could do it, but he is thick-headed. Like his old man. Wait. That is your boy, Tiny Thor. He used to barely reach my belly. He has grown, and now he will want to take everything from me. But such is the way of children. Take some silver for your trouble, and a little extra, for cheating you and Sigurd on that raid. Good luck! What tiny little child approaches? Me? Ah, many apologies. You are no child, simply a frail and fully grown fool. <laughs> Do we know each other? I know you're a weakling. And you? You need only know my impressive scale and flawless build. Why do you speak to me this way? We are flighting. I have consented to nothing yet. Fine. Do you wish to fleet against me? I do. Here's my wager. I'm ready for you now. Have you ever seen muscles as massive as mine? So, 
I'm not awed by your muscles, but shocked by your pride. Come on, you can do better than that. More than strength, I can boast that my features are fair. They seem perfectly placed to give children a scare. You're brilliant! Yes! More! Have you ever met someone so witty and quick? I can't say that I have. You're uniquely obtuse. You can't go harder than that? What a shame. Thought you'd be up for a good spar. Come back again if you ever feel ready. Happy returns after a sorry loss. Do you want to try again? Give me your best. Absolutely. Good. Now place your bet. Here's my wager. I'm ready for you now. Have you ever seen muscles as massive as mine? You have the form of a very large swine. Come on, you can do better than that. More than strength, I can boast that my features are fair. They seem perfectly placed to give children a scare. You're brilliant! Yes! More! Have you ever met someone so witty and quick? You've the wit and the charm of a wood tick. You can't go harder than that? What a shame. Thought you'd be up for a good spar. Come back again if you ever feel ready. Hello, friend. Come see my wares. Made with the finest ingredients. You should always have some of these. Can I tempt you with something else? I'll see you later, friend.
bársakir og ekki anna. Charmed life. Welcome, warrior. Silke Silvertongue offers wonders from across the nine worlds. Rare objects, priceless artifacts. And yet you have put a price on them. Everything has value, wise one. But I ask only a fraction of its worth. What would you say to a piece of Christ's cross? Snakeskin from Ragnar Lothbrok's death pit? These items do not look very impressive. Like this old shoe. That belonged to the first Christian Pope. Or maybe it was a saint. It brings the blessing of their god. They would need it with that shoe. And there's an old leather strap. A shield strap? Belonging to the hero Sigurther when he fought the great beast. Yeah, my mother had one embroidered like that. And what about that helmet? That was the helmet Hafton the Black War when he died in battle. It will protect you and bring good crops. That is a lie. It was the helmet my father wore in war the night he was killed. Eh? Eivor? 
I know you now, Sulk of the Snake. And these are things from my old home. How much silver did Chadva pay you to betray us? No silver. It was not like that. I was there that night, but I did not fight for Kyotva. I ran! Coward, I should cut you down. No! I do not want to die! Not your choice. Sulke will stay within the city. He finds safety within his walls. Mm-hmm. <laughs>